Hello friends and welcome to Work Center Sessions. As PeopleSoft users, we all know that a user had to navigate through several pages in order to complete their day-to-day -day activities. These activities could be entering data, resolving exceptions, running processes, reports or queries. For every task, they have to remember the navigation path and also have to go through various clicks to reach the required page. Also for a new user, it would be tough to remember all the navigations and they have to go back and check the documentation again and again. This discussion will lead us to a PeopleSoft user requirement. In our sessions, we will call them user story. Every session will start with a user story. Then we will discuss about the concepts and basics and then end up our session with the exercise to complete that user requirement. You can watch the exercise and practice in your systems. So for our current session, user requirement would be look like this. As a financial analyst, I want to collect all required links at one page so that I can access them easily without navigating to different menu paths. As a PeopleSoft expert, you will come up with a high level solution something like this we need to modify or create a new work center to add required links for my work links queries and reports now we need to learn work center to fulfill this requirement this is the complete course overview course is divided into eight sessions in various sessions we will learn various aspects of work center creation and pivot grid dashboard and finally data migration workbench in session one we'll talk about introduction to work center in session two we'll talk about application framework for work center using existing page and by creating a new folder and component in session three people tools framework work center will be discussed using existing page as well as by creating a new folder and component Session 4 will be dedicated for filter definition, Session 5 for dashboard, Session 6 for designing a new My Work application. In Session 7, we will learn how to create pivot grids and, and creating pagelet for it and how to use them in Work Center. Session 8 will discuss about data migration workbench, which is basically a tool which will help us to move the work centers from one environment to another environment. 